Well, you'd say what's wrong if something crumbles. Yes, everything crumbles in this world. Ultimately, everything falls apart. The nations, the buildings, the institutions all fall apart at some point in time. There's nothing new about it. And on top of that, I want to tell you all, we are also going to fall apart. So at this point in time, things are not going to go according to your plan. It's not going to go according to your wishes. It's not going to go according to your desires. In fact, things are going to crumble at this point in time when Venus is in the Capricorn sign from the 12th of February 2024 until 7th of March 2024. Yes, things are going to crumble. And that is how life is. There is nothing strange about this. There is nothing weird about this. There is nothing bizarre about this that your wishes and desires are not getting fulfilled. So it is absolutely normal if your wishes and desires don't get fulfilled at this point in time and don't find it strange that things crumble at this point in time. They fall apart at this point in time. Your business may fall apart. Your relationships may fall apart. Your job may fall apart. People might disturb you at this point in time. They might tell you certain things which may not be according to your liking. Well, the fact is that nothing is perfect in this world. You aren't perfect as well. So how can you expect others to be perfect? This is an imperfect world. All the moments in this world are imperfect. And it is us who has to seize the moment and make it perfect. And sometimes it is in our best interest to avoid and ignore these imperfect moments and let them pass. Sometimes it is in our best interest not to stop things from falling apart and waste our energy. Well, when you fall off a mountain, it doesn't do you any good to hang on to that rock which is falling with you. But you see, everything is doing that. When you try to hang on to a rock which is falling with you, you are simply wasting your energy. Yes, I agree that we are being done. We aren't doing anything. We are being done. But with our free will, we need to make our life somewhat perfect. If not 100% perfect, that is our duty. That is our responsibility. That is the duty and responsibility which God has given us to handle the imperfect moments and make it perfect. Well, if there were no imperfections, you wouldn't understand perfection. If there was no night, you wouldn't understand what a day would be. If there was no darkness, you wouldn't understand light. If there was no sadness, the value of happiness would diminish considerably. So we all need the negative with the positive. In other words, negative is normal. You got to handle the negative. You can't dismiss something negative. It's part of life scenario. Here's the key how to master the negative. Negative is not to be ignored. You can master the negative by not ignoring it, by not avoiding it, but instead by confronting it, by understanding this is how it is. It is a part of our life. You know, some people make their life difficult in this world by believing that there should be no difficulty in this world. Hence, they make their life difficult. And when we master the negative, it makes us better than we are. To handle it, to wrestle with it, it makes us better than we are. To be alerted to the tyranny that is going around this world. All that ignorance that moves into our lives. It makes us better than we are against procrastination that moves in and robs us of our future. And remember that you have to fight this negativity on the outside as well as on the inside. I mean in the world outside and inside you. And that's what makes life interesting, fascinating. 
Well, if these worldly things crumble, there is nothing to worry about it because everything in your life will crumble at some point in time. Everything is gonna get worse in time because as you know, it does. Everything is gonna fall apart. Well, you'd tell me that this is an awfully pessimistic philosophy. But I'd rather say that people who have hope in the future are the more miserable people because they are like donkeys chasing carrots that are dangled before their noses with sticks attached to their collar and they pursue and they pursue and they pursue in vain and hope that tomorrow would be that great day and therefore incapable of enjoying their life today. Well, people who live for the future never get there because when their plans mature, they are not there to enjoy them. They are that sort of people that live their life saving for their old age and teach their children the same thing. And when those people retire who have been saving all throughout their life, once they retire, they ask themselves, where was I going? What was it all about? Why did I do all this? Because then they realize by seeing their false teeth, their wrinkles, that prostate problem and understand that everything is gonna crumble in the end. So they have a sense of regret at that juncture. Because everything is going to crumble in the end. Everything is gonna fall apart in the end. So if something falls apart at this point in time, when Venus is in the Capricorn sign, there is nothing new about it. There is nothing special about it. You must learn how to handle these breaking points. By a breaking point, I mean when things fall apart, when things are not in your control, when a situation is not in your control, when you have lost control over yourself. Yes, you have to master the breaking point. Well, you may have many ventures in your life, but you will never accrue massive success if you don't master the breaking point. We all experience breaking points in our life and it is then we have to keep going in our life. It is at this point in time we need to tell ourselves that however hard it gets or however hard it is, I am going to make it. We need to remind ourselves that it isn't over until we win. We have to continue pursuing our goals and dreams at this point in time. Don't bother about other people at this point in time. You might not be able to please others at this point in time when Venus is in the Capricorn sign. You need to remember that you can't satisfy anyone in this world. Never in your life. Whatever you do in your life, the other people are not gonna get satisfied. They are gonna find faults with whatever you do. Well, listen to this very carefully. If you get fat, people will say that you eat too much. If you lose weight, people will think that you are sick. If you dress well, people will think that you are a show off. If you dress simple, people will say that you are poor. If you are serious, people are gonna think that you are boring. If you are funny, people will say that you are immature. If you speak your mind, people will say that you are rude. If you are single, people will think you are lonely. If you are successful, people will regard you as arrogant. If you are struggling, people will think that you are lazy. And if you are honest these days, people will think that you are naive. You don't have wisdom. And if you are dishonest, people will regard you as untrustworthy. No matter what you do in your life, you will not be able to satisfy others. People are gonna criticize you. So the best thing at this point in time when Venus is in the Capricorn sign is that you need to fulfill yourself. You need to focus on yourself at this point in time. You need to do things which make you happy, not others. You need to stick to your goals and dreams at this point in time. Don't bother about what others say, what others think. They are gonna say and think anyhow. 
वॉट एवर यू डू दे आर गोन क्रिटिसाइज यू दे आर गोन टॉक अबाउट यू एंड पीपल विल ओनली टॉक अबाउट यू वेन यू डू समथिंग सब्सटेंशियल इन योर लाइफ इफ यू आर्ट डूइंग एनी थिंग पीपल आर नॉट गोन टॉक अबाउट यू सो इफ पीपल आर टॉकिंग अबाउट यू एट दिस पॉइंट इन टाइम दे आर गोसिपिंग अबाउट यू एट दिस पॉइंट इन टाइम This should be an indication of a positive thing for you at this juncture when Venus is in the Capricorn sign. So my point is that it is up to you to seize that moment and make it perfect, to seize that thing and make it perfect, to seize that opportunity and use it to your advantage. Well, this is all I wanted to tell you all about Venus in Capricorn. If you want some specific predictions about yourself if you want to know your future through astrology if you want to plan your life through astrology well it's better to be safe than sorry where astrology may tell you that there is going to be rain outside so you better take an umbrella and go and it is also about solutions solution to your problems remedy to your problems because where there is a problem there is a solution well this is all i wanted to tell you all and here i want to end my video god bless you all jai mata di jai ma kali